Hello everybody and um, today I'd like to I'd like to offer you a practice um, for connecting with your body. So this um, is a practice that I've done with my group here in Brighton um, and a woman in the group asked, asked me to film it and share it um, so that she could continue this practice at home. So this is for you. And I'd like to start by just checking a few things, I guess. So I'd like you to check that you're in a space that's, that's relatively quiet and calm. Um, and I'd like you to check that you're comfortable. So that are there any kind of immediate pressing needs of the body? So do you need to quickly pop to the loo? you need to get a drink of water? Are you thirsty? Um, are your feet cold? Do you need to put an extra pair of socks on or something? Are there just, just in this moment, before we start the practice, just, oh, this is the practice, as we start the practice, checking in with your body and just seeing if there's anything that you can do to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. And um, the practice today will start with um, lying down on the floor. So I'm going to cut you down with me here. And I quite like to start with the feet on the ground, quite close to the bed. And just lying down here, and you can see I'm pretty cosy with my poncho on. And just perhaps with the hands either side of the belly. And just take a moment to settle into this position. And from now on, there's actually no need to look at the video at all. You can just listen, close your eyes, and rest. And breathe. notice how the body begins to settle itself. You don't really have to do anything. The body will show you how it wants to settle. And you can settle in by allowing the head to rest back into the ground. And from that resting, the throat will gently open. And you might find that the chest and the ribs also start to gently rest down into the ground. And you may notice that there's perhaps a slight heaviness in the base, in the pelvis. And something I've learned from my yoga teachers, from Mark and Abigail, my Scaravelli inspired yoga teachers here in Brighton, is that we can just engage the feet slightly. So perhaps start them to very gently press into the feet, and that will lift the pelvis slightly off the floor. So just a very gentle lift of the pelvis off the floor. Just using that strength in the feet, the engagement of the feet, to lighten up the pelvis, breathe into that. And as you release and rest down, so you bring the pelvis back down very slowly towards the ground, just see if you can offer a slight tilt, almost to bring your bum to connect with the floor a little more and you'll notice that there's a slight curve, a slight curve will be created in the lower back so rather than having a flat back against the ground you have a slight curve to the shape. So it's not as extreme as this, it's not a huge tilt in this direction. It's a very soft and gentle tilt, pelvis is resting down and forward. 
and the bum is slightly tilted up so we get this gentle curved spine and we can start to experience a bit of lightness in the pelvis and the spine rather than a dead and heavy pelvis we can have a slightly lighter softer pelvis and we can do that a few times we can press into the feet as many times as we like gently tilting the pelvis down towards the ground and then the, and the bum almost comes up slight curve in the lower back gently resting the pelvis down towards the ground and just breathing with that movement and not worrying about getting it right doesn't matter you'll know when it's not right because it won't feel nice so and it will feel heavy and smashy so, and if you wish also, you can just start gently rocking, rocking your legs from one side to another, very gently and slowly, just exploring both the left and the right side. If you sort of tilt over the right side of the pelvis and the hips, and the left side of the pelvis and the hips, and just gently, slowly, noticing how that feels. How does it feel to just bring the weight over towards one side and the other side? And all the time connecting with the feet. So as you bring the feet over towards the left, then you notice that the left side of the feet are connecting with the ground. And as you rotate over towards the right side, you'll notice that the right side of the feet connect with the ground and we can use that support of the feet to support the movement so we're not collapsing on ourselves we're not looking for any sort of pulley stretchy feeling we're looking for a supported light comfortable feeling and perhaps just bringing the knees back to that central position again and again Noticing how the head feels, are we able to rest back into the ground, allowing the forehead to drop back, the throat to relax and open. And what you might find is there's a space that starts to develop and grow in the middle, in the belly. So our ribs up here, this is where you might find that if you're um, if you're wearing a bra, it's time to get rid of that because uh, these days can't, I can't stand any sort of restriction around the ribcage. For so many years tolerating that restriction, and what you might find in this position is it feels very nice to come to the breathe into the ribs, invite the space to open the left and right side of you, so of breathing into your side, up into the chest and the ribs, into this cavity, and allowing the breath to empty down. And you might find that that brings a nice space and a nice openness between the ribs and the pelvis, so this space starts to open up. Not because we're stretching it or pulling it apart, but because we're breathing up here, using the space either side of us. And very naturally, this, this space here will start to settle down and soften because we, we're, we're bringing the breath to a different area. We're bringing the breath up into the ribs, into the sides of the body. Feeling that expansion towards the left and right and noticing how that creates more space in the belly. So this is an excellent position for digestion. So any sort of um, feelings of bloatedness or tightness or tension after a meal, perhaps a bit of overeating, this can be a really good way. Just come lie on the floor, feet on the ground, resting the head back, letting the throat open, breathing into the ribs 
And just resting here and just noticing how this space of its own accord in response to our gentle resting position just starts to open and soften. Just allow that to happen. Not pushing it, not forcing it. And just coming back to the position where you can feel your body touching the ground. So feeling the back of your head, feeling the shoulder blades, feeling the back of the pelvis and the feet. And just noticing whether the contact with the ground is equally distributed between left and right side, and sort of top end of the body, bottom end of the body. And if you're feeling perhaps more heaviness on the left than on the right, what you can do is perhaps gently bring some of the weight gently and slowly over towards the right side or vice versa. And again, if you're feeling that same heaviness in the pelvis, just gently using the feet or using the shoulder blades as well and the back of the head, gently lift the pelvis very slightly off the ground, breathing into that lift, not straining, just allowing that lift to come through the engagement of the head, the shoulder blades and the feet, gently pushing into the ground. And then just allowing the pelvis to come back to rest on the ground while you keep a slightly stronger engagement in other parts of the body. And you might find as your contact with the ground gently starts to even out so you feel a bit more supported. You don't feel like you're being pulled in different directions. The body starts to feel like it's almost coming together into a slightly more central, slightly more supported, more connected way. And from that comfortably, equally supported place, spaces of tension within the body, perhaps the jaw, perhaps around the stomach, in the belly area, perhaps in the hips, they start to gently soften and release of their own accord not because we're pushing or pulling on them, but because we're in a position that is supported and equally connected. And from this place, you might like to explore what it feels like to perhaps gently bring the knees up and just let them rest into the hand. And just see what it feels like to let the knees, to let the knees sort of fall where they fall. So perhaps opening slightly, perhaps in a more central position. And what the knees will do is the knees will gently and naturally rest forwards towards the floor. And you can use your hands like sort of little cups to take the weight of the knees so that your knees are resting forwards, but your, but your hands are stopping them from falling away from you. So it's like a nice, very soft and gentle Slight rocking, slight tilting, just exploring. Exploring what it might feel like to open the knees. And with the intention of bringing the thigh bone in towards the hip socket. So we're bringing the bone into the socket. We're allowing the joints to come together. And it might feel comfortable to perhaps cross the feet, perhaps, or not. And with that crossing of the feet, you can use the contact of the feet on each other to allow the knees to rest out to left and right, perhaps bringing a bit of openness, a bit more openness in the hips but not tolerating any feelings of sort of pushing or pulling or stretching. We don't, we don't tolerate that. 
And when that occurs, we come back to a position where we feel integrated and centered. The yoga that you do, or that I do, um, especially with my teachers, is about bringing the body together, not pulling the body apart. And from that integration, the body releases into openness and movement in very natural and very comfortable ways. And we don't have to tolerate this kind of stretchy, painful discomfort that we might have been used to um, in perhaps other forms of um, movement classes. And just seeing what it might feel like perhaps to bring the legs over to one side. And what I quite like to do is just bring one leg to rest on top of the other in a very gentle, very soft twist. So not often in twists what you see is people sort of desperately trying to get over to one side and we don't need to desperately go anywhere, you know what I mean. We can support our perhaps our left leg if we're twisting over to the right, we can support the left leg with the right hand. We can allow the head to come to centre. We can notice how it feels in the opposite hip and take a breath. And just notice how this space feels. For me, this space is beginning to feel really deliciously open and soft. And I haven't got that usual feeling of pulling and discomfort in the opposite hip that you can feel if you try and take it too far. So bringing it back to a place that feels comfortable. And perhaps allowing the opposite arm, so the left arm in this case, can I rest on the floor? And again, keeping that connection with the back of the head as it rests back into the ground. And just remembering what you're doing this for. You're doing this to feel comfortable and integrated and free in your body, in all places. We're doing this for a lovely, comfortable space and ease in the belly. We're doing this for freedom in the spine. We're doing this to bring the body into one piece, not to pull the body apart. And just using the connection with the, the foot on the ground, or the right foot on the ground, to gently push yourself perhaps over to the left side. Gently rocking, perhaps exploring what that journey feels like on the hips. And again, very gently allowing that twist to happen. And again, I'm not taking it too far. I'm resting this right leg on top of the left leg in a way that feels comfortable for me. I'm resting my head back into the ground. I'm allowing the throat to open. And I'm just noticing how my body feels in this middle space. I'm just noticing again, can I bring some nice, deeper, longer breaths into the side ribs? And can I allow these internal organs to soften and settle into this lovely space that I have created? between the pelvis and the ribs. And I might wish to bring or allow that arm, that opposite arm, to rest down onto the ground. In any way that I choose. And when I feel ready, again, I'm just exploring the most gentle and comfortable way that I could come up to centre. And I think for me that would involve using this bottom foot as a support to roll over towards centre and perhaps do a little bit of gentle circling, a bit of freestyle. Freestyle yoga is great. Doing what feels good. And then bringing the feet back down to the ground again. And if you wish, perhaps bringing the hands into a sort of very soft and gentle clasp, 
bring the thumbs together. And with the thumbs together, just bring the thumbs to rest onto the forehead. And just noticing that central space, the space of our digestive organs, our stomach on the left hand side, just below, just below, tucked in below that rib, that left rib. The beautiful tubes all squished together of our small intestine, pink and juicy and shiny. With their hundreds upon thousands of little tiny fingers inside of the villi, just ready to absorb and take out all of those beautiful nutrients from the real food that we're eating. And surrounding all of this, on the right hand side of the belly, we've got the ascending colon coming up, the large intestine coming up, and coming across the body, the transverse colon, and then coming down the body on the, on the left hand side. They're almost like three sides of a picture frame, but this beautiful large intestine. It's regulating how much water we take in, encasing and gently buffering this very soft and very fluid zone at the centre of us. And just noticing anything that arises here, is there any bubbling perhaps? I just heard a little sound. Just quite nice to listen to and just notice this space is alive. This space is doing a job. I've just had my breakfast, so it's currently digesting the breakfast I made. And just allowing that space, the freedom and the ease that it needs do the best job it can with the food that we've provided and the hydration that we've provided. And we can use the hands also just to connect with this space, so perhaps gently bringing the hands to either side of the belly. With a touch that is appreciative and respectful all of the amazing work that our vital organs are doing in this space, keeping us alive, keeping us healthy, nourished and well. Fighting infections at this time of year, staving off coughs and colds, and doing this very gentle practice using your breath, using a quality of touch that is gentle and soft and that brings the body together to the centre and support all of these processes. And from this position, you may wish to stay here and rest gently for a little longer. Or you might wish perhaps to explore what it feels like to roll over and come on to all fours very gently. And just see if you can perhaps widen the knees slightly to give more space to the belly. If we've got our knees together, our belly's kind of squished on top of the knees, so we might want to take the knees a bit wider. I want to come onto elbows, perhaps, or onto hands and wrists. And again, we're inviting and asking for a quality of touch that feels equal, both on the left and right side. And perhaps if it feels a bit heavy on the knees, what we can do is bring the weight forward 
onto the elbows. You can gently engage the elbows and the forearms and the wrists into the ground slightly more. A bit like we did with the feet before. So taking a bit more weight and a bit more strength through the upper body. Notice what that does to the core. So for me, that will bring the belly muscles sort of up towards the spine and also forward towards the ribs. And in that I can feel a gentle widening in the pelvis, a widening out the back towards the left and right and coming down into what might be a very gentle and very soft child pose. So perhaps using a cushion here, if that feels comfortable, grabbing a cushion. Perhaps to bring the forehead to rest. So bringing the forehead to rest on the cushion. Using the elbows to prop and support that rest. And just bringing the body down to a comfortable, restorative, supportive child's pose. And again, in this posture, you're noticing where the body might feel a bit tight or a bit sort of holding together. And perhaps, for me, I feel that in the pelvic floor, almost like a bit of a protection, a bit of a tightness there. And so what we can do is just breathe into that. Remember, or not remember, but feel where you're connected to the ground, to your base. And as you exhale, just allow that base to support you as you soften down towards the ground. Allowing shoulders to be free. Allowing elbows to support you. And coming to any position that feels comfortable, nurturing, cosy. And from here, you might wish now to Bring yourself up into sort of a kneeling position, gentle kneeling position. Taking a few breaths here. And just noticing what it might feel like to sit. Perhaps staying in kneeling position, perhaps sitting on a cushion, perhaps sitting cross-legged. And just noticing what it feels like to take the body slightly further back. Allow the head to rest onto the neck and spine. And just again allowing the body to settle around the central column of the spine. Allowing jaw and face to soften. And again, if you're not feeling this position, you're very welcome to return to child's pose or return to lying down pose. Do what your body is asking you to do. And in these last few minutes, just taking a few moments to gently breathe. And perhaps hand on heart. Just saying well done to yourself. Well done for completing a practice that gently reconnects you with your body, with the felt sense of your body. Safe in the knowledge that 
This practice, however simple or slow, or perhaps, I don't know, perhaps it doesn't seem like enough of a showing off practice. Maybe it's not exciting, maybe I'm not zooming around the room, maybe I'm not sweating, maybe I'm not standing on my head. But this practice is truly profound, truly profound. Because eating what you need grows and develops from a depth of connection with the felt sense of your body. And that depth of connection will grow when you listen. And the easiest way to listen is to become still and quiet and unambitious in your yoga practice. Still, quiet, unambitious. And in that place of stillness and quiet and no ambition about where you're going or what you're doing, you might find that things arise pleasant sensations of openness, of space, of ease. And also unpleasant sensations of tightness, of bloating, of, of heaviness. And all of those are, are welcome. All of those sensations are welcome. And all they are are signposts, you know. The space and ease and comfort, okay, me and my body, we're going in the right direction together. Bloating, tightness, pulling, pushing, forcing, pain, maybe this isn't the right way for my body to go. I need to go in the other way. And this is truly a yoga for everybody. No matter what your body, what you believe your body can or can't do, everybody can lie on the floor and breathe. Everybody can connect with the space in their belly. Everybody can bring a hand here to breathe. Everybody can breathe into their ribs. Everybody can gently use their feet to support themselves. Everybody can move with grace and comfort. Everybody can do that. So this is my invitation to you. Practice what feels good in your body. Practice without ambition of going anywhere. Practice with a very careful awareness of what different movements and different positions feel like to your body. And notice when you have been able to create a space of ease and comfort and release. And congratulate yourself for doing so and working with your body, not against your body. And I hope that this, this helps you to ultimately living, living your process and eating what you need.